the vapor pressure produced at equilibrium for liquids A and B is P naught A and P naught B respectively. Click the mix button. When A and B are mixed to form an ideal solution, the pressure of A now is known as partial pressure PA and that of B is PB. Now let us look at the relationship between PA and P0A. Observe that PA is less than P0A. The same applies to PB. This can be explained using Raoult's law. Click on the Raoult's law button. The partial pressure of A, PA, in a solution is equal to the vapor pressure of pure A multiplied by the mole fraction XA of A in the solution at a given temperature. Click on the PB button to view its expression. Summary The vapor pressure produced at equilibrium for liquids A and B are P not A and P not B respectively. Rule's law states that the partial pressure of A, PA, in a solution is equal to the vapor pressure of pure A multiplied by the mole fraction of A, XA, in the solution at a given temperature. PA is equal to XA into P naught A, where XA is equal to NA upon NA plus NB. The total vapor pressure of an ideal solution is the sum of the partial vapor pressures of its components. P total is equal to PA plus PB. Let us plot the vapor pressure composition diagram for a pair of miscible liquids A and B at constant temperature. The pressures of A and B are 40 kilopascals and 80 kilopascals respectively. The table shows the mole fractions of A and B for different compositions of the ideal solution formed from these two liquids. Place your cursor over XA and XB to help you recall how they are calculated. Click the partial pressure button to view the partial pressures of A and B for each composition. Place your cursor over PA and PB to help you recall how they are calculated. Click the total pressure button. Place your cursor over P total to help you recall how this is obtained. Click on each of the boxes labeled 2 to 10. The dotted line shows how the partial vapor pressure of the ideal solution of A and B varies with the molar composition of the solution at constant temperature. Liquid B is more volatile than liquid A. Note that the number of particles of B is more than that of A in the vapor phase as B is more volatile. The mole fraction of B in the vapor is not the same as that in the solution. The line above shows the total vapor pressure, P total of the liquid mixture of A and B. It is called the liquid curve and is always a straight line for an ideal solution. Click the vapor curve button. What is the total pressure of a vapor mixture of 0.1 mole fraction A and 0.9 mole fraction B. Click on 0.1. Answer 72 kilopascals. The vapor curve shows the total vapor pressure of the liquid mixture in the vapor phase. What is the composition of the liquid 
and of the vapor when the total vapor pressure is 70 kPa. To find the answer, click 70 on the vertical axis. Answer, the composition of the liquid is XA is equal to 0.25 mole and the composition of the vapor is XA is equal to 0.15 mole respectively. What can you deduce about the composition of the vapor as compared to that of the liquid? Answer, the vapor is richer than the liquid in the more volatile component. For the purpose of separating liquids in a liquid mixture through distillation, the vapor pressure composition curve is converted to a boiling point composition curve at constant pressure. Compare the boiling points and vapor pressures of the liquid components. Discuss and click the next button. Answer. The liquid with the higher vapor pressure will have a lower boiling point. Summary. The graph below shows how the partial vapor pressure of the ideal solution of A and B varies with the molar composition of the solution at constant temperature. The liquid curve shows the total vapor pressure P total of the liquid mixture. The vapor curve shows the total vapor pressure of the liquid mixture in the vapor phase. The liquid with the higher vapor pressure will have a lower boiling point.